Oh, look at this, you guys. I mean, seriously, it has been raining for weeks. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fish heads. It's me, and we've got a double header today. It is Wednesday, February the 12th, two more days until Valentine's Day. Woo! So obviously, if you guys had not gotten your orders into me for the Valentine's stuff, I did do a few this year. Always like doing those. Um, try to make sure that those get out by um, usually like Monday or Tuesday of this week to give them time to get to their respected addresses all over the United States. But I have a few pieces to show you. So before we start our small waters spray session for the day, let me show you what's going on over here at the spray bench at the finishing bench. We're going to start with this. This is the spring crappie. You can find it on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. If you haven't seen it there before, go check it out. Go look for it. I have two sections for wake baits and I'm getting ready to drop the 2020 2020 items that are special, um, like a specialty, and then in addition to the regular items, they're going to drop March the 1st. Plenty of time for spring fishing and the spawn and all that good groovy stuff going on early in the year, both north and south. You should hopefully be getting a little bit of thaw going on by March, mid-March. Um, but this is that spring crappie. It's got a little bit of plum on the cheeks. It's got that real cool tangerine. This is a fluorescent sunburst that I'm using. And these are Anarchy stencils. Anarchy is Brian, and he's over in the UK. He's very accessible, as is Russ Allen here in the States. Um, but the yeah, I got a set of creature features that are not, actually they might be released by now. Um, he was saying that he was gonna do a February release on these, but we got some samples from him. Thank you, Brian over at Anarchy. Simple pattern, very cool stencil. He also provided the stencil on this next one, which is going to be added to the specialty line on jackalbaits.com. And this is another version. This is a, a small batch, limited series, sunfish edition. And we're going to be doing a couple of different specialty sunfish. Um, I've already, I've, I do a pumpkin seed and I do a winter green, but this is just such a cool adaptation of the green that I wanted to kind of give you guys a look at it. And I've gotten a lot of interest over the last few days, so we will be adding this. All that stuff, again, is going to drop on March the 1st for 2020 items on the website. So be on the lookout for that stuff. This is just, it was a lot of fun. And this is the Creature Features as well. Again, it was a pre-release stencil, but it should be out by now. And hopefully you guys can pick that up. He is very responsive and has some cool stuff for you guys. He does a lot of uh, model scale type stuff as well on his website, so go check him out over at Anarchy Stencils UK. This is that cherry red into the tangerine and back down, uh, once you, it's like all flavors, it's pineapple in the belly, and back into that tangerine and cherry red. And they are uh, pearlized colors, which is always fun. Lots, lots of fun there. Did something a little bit different on request for a customer. This is Mark, and he's going to be getting these this week. Let me see if I can bring my hand into it. I'm trying not to keep these out of it because I have got some, get my hands get real dry from spraying and using chemicals and stuff every day. So, but this you would normally see on the sewer rats, but he wanted me to adapt that into a jerk bait for him. I'm sure that the target is going to have something to do with walleye or toothy critters, probably some smallmouth involved as well. Uh, this is that dinger, and all I did with this, that uh, it's an artist fan brush. You guys can check that stuff out. I have two videos that show the technique. One is the field mouse, and one is the four airbrush hacks in two minutes. So that is in the playlist under spray sessions right here in this channel. So go check that out. Um, they have been added into the playlist recently so you guys can find them because that's usually like one of the top five that I get asked on what I'm doing and how to get that fur pattern. There's a lot of different ways. As a matter of fact, Russ Allen over at Insane Custom Stencils has some really, really good rat sets if you guys are interested in doing the stencil route on those. Um, but I just use an artist fan brush and get the job done in my own way. 
So that one, and then I really like the way this one came out as well. This is more of a mimic to the rat that's sitting down here. Um, just wanted to kind of show you what's going on on the finishing desk. And now, without further ado, let me, um, this is what his pattern is, and I've got a couple of those for him as well. Let's paint something cool. Let's do some small waters. We're making something cool. But we're not making this. This is going to be a Blue Ridge or Tennessee, but it's called both Blue Ridge or Tennessee Red Salamander. Now I've started with a black base only because we're going to mesh this real quick first. That shouldn't take very long at all to do. That should do the trick. We'll just use some fresh stuff. It's in the link. There's a new link. Look at the description. It's there. I promise. Dari, stop carrying it. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it. A lot of fabric stores will carry this mesh. Uh, I do also have a link on my Facebook feed over on the Jekyll Bates page. So what, I'll, what I've done here is I've folded this in half. And we're just going to set this up like that. We're going to pop that through that back eyelet. And while I'm holding this down, I just want to pinch off this back piece here with a little bit of alligator clip. And then I'm also going to do the same thing here just so we can get that as tight as we want to. Now, I started with black here. Just so you know, the belly is white. So I did a white primer first, and then I just sprayed black opaque along the sides and the top. And that's all I've done. You guys know how to do that. I have complete faith that you do. Now these Tennessee salamanders are uh, pretty cool. It's a fairly simple pattern to spray. And it's not going to take that long, but it's awesome, awesome small waters stuff. And I chose this because it previously I don't, to be honest, I don't remember if I did it in a video or not, but I have done a fire belly newt. Uh, salamanders and newts are pretty close. Both can be found not only in the United States, but in smaller water territory, woodlands, marshes, streams, creeks, riversides, lakesides too, yes. But we, uh, we really want to stick to small waters here. Now to this mesh, we're going to re-add some white. Because as a Tennessee and or Blue Ridge, they're, they're called both, it's the same thing. As a Blue Ridge salamander, these red salamanders, I just wanted, and I'm not even going to do this real heavy, I wanted a little bit of a darker base. And I want a little bit of veining in here. But this is um, this is most likely the most difficult part of the process right here. The rest of it's all just going to be stencil. Now I'm adding just a little bit of fluorescent red. We're going to work light into dark. There's a couple of different shades of red on this. But I like fluorescent red for this.
one of the reasons that I picked this pattern, not just for this time of year, because red is really good this time of year, but also, two days from now, it's Valentine's Day. Ha ha! No, that's really not why I picked it, but it is a really good spring pattern. It's about the middle of February. We're going to leave a little bit of this belly white. But on top of this, I'm now going to bring in just a standard red. Just a little bit of it, just to darken it up. And I'm going to do that very random on here. Maybe darken it around the face. Just to give it a tone. Kind of stripe it here a little bit. And there we go. Now we're going to heat set this and come right back on camera. We have two shades of red over top of a little bit of a white, which is on top of black. And what that does, that black underneath all of this really pops this color out darker than you would with a white. And I wanted a little bit more subdued on this particular pattern because if you're looking at the image that's in the upper right hand portion of the screen, you can see that it's a little bit mottled. The other reason that uh, I put the mesh on is just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. Now these little guys will uh, fall into the water. They're along creek sides. So now you can see we have that mesh pattern, that crackle. A lot of you guys ask what I do with crackle. It, it's this stuff. I don't use the crackle paint. It's just, it comes out real thick. I like to kind of have a little bit more control over what I'm spraying. Now I've got this little guy. This might put too small of a pattern on here. Let me take a look at the other one that I have that's just a little bit bigger. Let's see what we have here. Now the salamander does have a fairly small um, dot pattern on it. This one's just a little bit bigger. Somebody was asking numbers. So um, actually Steve Donahoe on my Facebook page was asking, this is HS41 Creature Feature 5, less modeled. So this one obviously is very modeled. Uh, it's in the HS series. Steven, I hope that that helps because like I said, I'd normally cut these little things off. I'm going to do that on this one as well. The reason I do that, I just like handling it better, I guess, with that. It's just what I do. And I don't like the line that it'll add. And sometimes I'll leave it down on one side if I'm doing like a bottom and I want to differentiate where the modeling stops. So we can do that on this one. It's not a big deal. There we go. Get this snipped off. So HS series. And you want the most modeled. So this was it. It's very small. And I'm answering Steve Donahoe as we go here. So there's this. Now we're just all we're doing is we're going to load back in jet black. Bring the pressure down. I was running about 35 on pressure. We're bringing it down to about 15. We're going to start with the top and work our way back. And now we just move these. I love these helping hands. I've got a link for that as well. Y'all already know. I'm going to take care of you guys. And then just move our way down. Try and push this against this as best we can. Get that cheek area. And you guys can see how that's starting to turn out. And then do the same thing. Who says that saltwater fish are the only patterns that are creative and colorful? If you look at some of the small stream and creekside 
amphibians and reptiles you will just it'll open your eyes to a bunch of different patterns that you can do we're going to add a little bit of black here now the eyes on this guy are red i'm just going to darken in the cheeks a little bit that's pretty much it you guys that's pretty much it how simple is that very cool not time consuming if you don't have a stencil if you don't have a stencil, you can use a small detailing brush like this one right here. So that can be helpful as well. It takes a lot longer to hand detail these little guys in, but it is possible and it'll still look really, really good. We are now at the point where we're going to put some eyes on this little critter and one thing that can really dress up this stripped down pattern are some cool custom eyes. Now I'm going to be using some eyes from John over at Jetson. He was kind enough to just send me a big sample pack and I love the fact that I get to show you guys what he's going to be unveiling this year in 2020. So kudos to John. Thank you so much and check out this stuff over at JetsonLureEyes.com. Jetson Lures actually. You can get to him. I'm going to pop up this salamander on the big screen and one thing that you will notice is that they have red eyes. One thing that we're going to do with this today, once we get our glue on here, now this is a six millimeter eye, so that'll do just fine. So we want to put these in horizontally. We don't want to put them in vertically like this. We want to lay them down just like this. And once the glue is in, you've got a few seconds to play around with it. I like how that looks right there. We're gonna leave that just like that. We're gonna flip it over and do the other side here. And these are the six millimeters. I think I said that. And let's just drop a little bit of glue down on that eye. And that should do it. You don't want too much glue. pick up this other eye and put that in horizontally as well and then ladies and gentlemen we will have pretty much a finished product for you guys and again you don't have to spend an hour or 30 minutes figuring out a pattern it can be really really simple to be effective this time of year red is in red is all the rage it's great fashion it's very effective and hey it's two days from Valentine's Day when I'm shooting this video so that makes it even better so have fun making this pattern just real quick to touch on the things that I've already touched on today but we'll go over them real quick once again if you don't have a stencil now I can leave the link for the um, for anarchy in the description and I will certainly do that for you guys a zero zero artist detail brush will put these in for you as well some people use a toothpick you can it's I really wouldn't recommend a q-tip I don't think that's a good idea um, you know they can be dangerous but I would definitely recommend an artist brush or if you have it use the stencil use that creature feature this is the HS series uh, this is I used today the HS 41 don't know what number of the the smaller modeling tool is so I'm gonna put some clear coat on that thanks for hanging out I hope I was able to teach you guys something today now one thing that you might find interesting as we close out this video today while I'm dipping is that I did a search string just on Google on the internet and I looked up United States freshwater stream amphibians came up with this little guy and a bunch more super easy for you guys to do the same thing and there we have it that's the video today folks I hope you've enjoyed 
I hope you've learned a little bit. Hope you get out there and start creating. And I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.